Hello friends, uh, this is Dr. Raju Dhawan, your ENT faculty. So here I present to you a quick learning bite for the upcoming NEED PG and INICT examination. And the topic is Allergic Fungal Rhinosinusitis, the CT scan findings over that. See guys, uh, in the antroconal polyp, which is the usual polyp, the non-fungal inflammatory polyp, the CT scan picture will be homogeneous. If you see this picture, this is a homogeneous picture because this entroconal polyp or even ethmoidal polyp, which are inflammatory polypi, are nothing but the inflamed edematous mucosa. So they look isogenous or homogeneous in appearance on CT scan. But let us compare this with the polyp of allergic fungal rhinosinusitis, the AFRS. The AFRS polyp will be heterogeneous in appearance. If you see this picture, you can see very clearly that this polyp has got different type of appearance. If you see, this particular thing is more isodense than this inflammatory edema. Why it is double density or why it is heterogeneous? Because of fungal debris into this. And fungal debris is more dense than the inflammatory edematous part. That is why AFRS polypi on CT scan shows heterogeneous or double density shadows, a very popular question for the image-based sec section for the upcoming INICT or the NEED-PG paper.